Bana. What do we have here for breakfast? Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Looks like Can you feel the love tonight? Na 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 I have a calamansi juice drink here. Just got this yesterday, so I think they taste good. I will try that later. And so, what do we have for breakfast, guys? We have, I'm thinking of having some tomatoes for breakfast. It's because I have big tomatoes right here. They are like, I think I have like one, two, three more I think three left of tomato so let's just make three of this all right let me prepare them all right guys let me grab some tomato here's our tomato they're so fresh because when I bought them they're not yet totally ripe but there's like a little hole on this one little bite of my one tomato here let me prepare all of the ingredients we need we will wash our um So while working on our tomato, I would like to start the oven and preheat it to 380 uh, 5. Yeah, 385 is fine. And then let me grab the pan I'm gonna be using for this. They usually it's my dishwasher and drainer everything's still here and this one right here I just uh, bought them the other day it's because I'm going to make some dessert I don't know if I still have time to make it uh, together with this video but I might probably uh, split this video into two because if I don't, probably it's gonna take up to 40 minutes. So I try to just do my video up to 20 minutes so that you guys don't get bored. So this is the thing I just want to use for this uh, breakfast. Breakfast recipe, tomato and egg. Let me see if the soap is done. Oh my god, there's still soap there guys. Look at that. That's why I don't trust this dishwasher. The pan I'm gonna be using. So I decided to just make two of them. The kids doesn't like tomato, so I will probably the only person that will eat this one. Well, my sister is coming tomorrow from Washington. So you will be seeing her in my kitchen. She's coming down to visit for a week or a month or so because I'm planning to move to my new house by August so she's gonna help me carry all my trash to my new house all right let's begin making the tomatoes now let me remove this just this thick okay and what I do is just put them here like that just empty the tomato it's now empty and let's do the other one the other side. we're just gonna draw like letter O 
and then we'll use the spoon and scrape the inside because we're gonna fill it up with some yummy yummy delicious okay and then remove it I want to plant a big tomato like this so I think I'm gonna need some juice I like this one so let's have a drink I'm getting thirsty righty my onion left here that I want to wash and peel and then I have my baby bell cheese it's a mozzarella cheese I want to also use this one got all the ingredients that I think I'm gonna need and I also want to add some some chives on them and let me peel our mozzarella cheese here All right let's begin wait so i think let me just wash my chives first All right so everything now are washed so let me peel that baby bell um cheese I'm getting hungry so let's double time I'm just going to cut our cheese roses do lovers do so fast your seasons to the wind oh hold me dear Oh, hold me dear, close the window, come the light, and it will be alright, no need to bother now, let it out, let it all begin, na 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 na. So I can prepare this time. I have a brand new eggs that I got from the local supermarket. They are extra large, 18 pieces. And I'm only gonna need like two actually. Oh, the window come the light and it will be all right. No need to bother now. Drop it like it's hot. Here it is. Mm -hmm. So let me add one more time some salt on them and then broccoli. Okay. Look at that guys. Looking so amazing already. And then some chives. cheese I'm just gonna add some olive oil okay oven is ready let us put it there and it is set to 385 Fahrenheit last look on them before they go into the oven I'm going to the oven Ooh. close that one and they will be inside the oven for 20 minutes at 385 degree Fahrenheit So let me just clean up here and wash this cutting board and my knife righty while waiting for our breakfast inside the oven.
So it is now done guys. I just took it out from the oven. And as you can see, brownish on top and the cheese. Let me slice it. Let's see the inside guys. Okay. Oof. Oof. The cheese. Ah. Alright, I have my calamansi juice here. And then here's our breakfast. And I'm going to slice it and take a bite before proceeding to our next recipe coming up is our lunch or dinner it's up to you i'm trying not to make it all ugly so it looks like that inside mm -hmm. look at that guys here's the first bite for all of you mm some broccoli one two three four some of the potatoes are almost growing look at that they are now sprouting but I have like five potatoes left and let me peel them quick let me slice our potatoes just maybe this thick they're not gonna be in uniform so maybe this thick is enough all right continue okay let me sit the oven to 360 there we go Okay, I have my pan here, newly washed, and then I'm gonna throw all the sliced potatoes. Now, I would like to add some spices, starting with my paprika. Then I'm gonna add my basil leaves. Oops, it's brand new. <laughs> Let me open it quick. Sprinkle some basil leaves. Next, salt. Salt is a must. Salt to taste. Next, my onion powder. This is optional if you'd like to try this recipe. You don't have to add onion powder. I just add some because I love the onions. And then, I will add my olive oil. Okay, that's enough. We will mix everything up so that the flavor will spread all over our potatoes. Mm. Potatoes, potatoes. Can't wait to plant my own potatoes. Let me cut some onions. Okay cooking time turn the stove number six okay this is the pan i'm using start with our olive oil or we can also use vegetable oil this time i'm gonna use olive oil okay so i am going to drop my onions it's not super hot yet And I love garlic, so I'm gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. So now I will add the minced meat that I have here, that is beef. 
to house our potatoes. We're gonna stick it in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, only for 10 minutes and we'll come back to that later on. Roast that. Here's our meat. We're gonna put salt and pepper on this one. Salt. Black pepper. Here's our potatoes. They just came out from the oven. They are just half cooked. Now I'm going to um, get our minced meat and let them join here inside this pan and put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. It just looks so delicious already and smells so delicious too. Let me spread the meat. Got my freshly washed tomatoes and mushrooms here. They are white mushrooms and I'm going to just slice them quick. Just slice them like that. Done with mushrooms. Let me put it here on top of our mincemeat and potatoes. Spread it like that. Anyone can cook without the skills. It's very, very easy. Just got potatoes, um, some veggies that you would like to add, maybe like zucchini squash. And at this point, I would love my mushrooms on top and add some tomatoes. It really is all about what we like on our dish, right? So, it looks like that. Now I put them on top, it's because the mushrooms cook very easily just like the cheese and the tomatoes. So that is why they are just on top and can cook for 10 minutes. And here's my tomato. Let me just cut it this way. Okay. And then I have some chives. I would like to add some more chives on this. Of course, this is optional. I would like to add some green effect on this dish, which is the chives is perfect for this because this is what I have today. I don't have the onion leaf, green onion. Okay, now we'll add them together on our dish here. Just adding sharp cheddar cheese on top. I personally love mozzarella cheese on top of this dish. But I don't have it today. Look at that. Put everything there. The more cheese, the more yummy it is. If you are allergic to dairy like cheese, you don't have to add cheese on this one. And top it off with some tomato. Just like that. It's gonna be yummy and a beautiful looking food. I really enjoy doing this guys so and then after that spread some of my green effect shives on top they are looking delicious looking so beautiful now let me put them back in the oven and we will get the final product and have a bite after 10 minutes. Now they are in the oven. Cook for 10 minutes. Here's our food from the oven. What do you think guys? It smells amazing. It smells so yummy. Now let me just grab a plate and we'll have a bite before ending this video. take a bite guys before my camera died it is blinking the battery is uh, dying so here's first bite for all of us cheers mm. one more bite 
Okay, everyone, I will end the video here. Thank you so much for joining with me today, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to me if you haven't yet, and I hope to see you on the next upload. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.